Relationships are a very important part of the schedule. They help determine when everything will happen. They also help to calculate things like early dates, late dates, float. Without relationships, everything goes back to the day to date. Relationships also help you when there's a change to the schedule. If I move this activity out and reschedule it, I can now see that other activities shifted out because of that change. Without relationships, this just isn't going to happen. There are four types of relationships. There's the finish to start, start to start, finish to finish, and start to finish. All of these different relationships can have what's called a lag. A lag is a duration that's on a relationship. These two activities have a start to start relationship with a five day lag. Creating relationships in Phoenix is easy. If I mouse over the end of this activity, you'll see a left right arrow cursor. This allows me to drag an activity's duration out or decrease an activity's duration. But as soon as I move up or down, the activity will snap back and you'll see this dotted red line appear. You'll even see the cursor change telling you what type of relationship will be created. You can see here a little Twinkie with a tail on it saying that I'm going to create a relationship from the finish of an activity. If I mouse over the beginning of another activity, the dotted red line turns to green, letting me know that it's okay to drop and the cursor changes to show me I'm creating a finish to start relationship. Once I let go of the mouse button, the relationship is created. I can schedule it to see what happens. If you accidentally drop a relationship while the dotted line is still red, this window will appear. It'll still let you create a relationship. It'll ask you what type of relationship you want to create and give you a list of activities in your schedule to create relationships too. One of the cool things about this is you can create relationships to multiple activities at once just by checking the box and clicking the relate button. Once I hit schedule button, you'll see all those relationships in the schedule. Once you have your schedule put together, there's a couple of different ways that you can view relationships. One of them is just by simply right clicking a relationship. You can see in the menu that appears, there's the options for edit relationship, lag to, or delete relationship. If I click on edit relationship, this window will appear. This will show me the predecessor and successor ID numbers, allow me to change the type of relationship, and a place to edit lag. There's also this lag to button. I'll show you that in a second. Let's go ahead and close this window. Another way to view a relationship is by going to view and then clicking on predecessor or successor. This will pull up the predecessor and successor windows. These two buttons here will do the same thing. If I click on an activity, I can see its specific predecessor and successor detail information. I can change lag, type, and add or delete relationships in here. There's also a relate multiple button. This button will pull up that familiar window that allows you to relate multiple activities at once. The lag to feature will allow you to create a lag between activities. It'll calculate the lag duration for you based on a date that you choose. Also in here, you can jump between activities by clicking on a relationship and then clicking the go to button. It'll go right to that activity. When you're getting ready to print your schedule, you may want to turn off some or all of the relationships. If you go up to the view menu, you'll see in here you can toggle all of the relationships or just the non-driving. If I turn this one off, you'll see the dotted lines on the schedule disappear. This will clean it up quite a bit and make your print look a little bit better.